Okay, so earlier in the video, I used clips from this video and the video prior to this where I was talking about just the Zeke saw. Earlier in the video, I kind of pointed out some differences between the two of these saws. So I'm just going to cover them a little bit here because this is a direct comparison video. I'm going to put this saw, the Saker Mini Chainsaw, up against this saw, the Zeke Saw Mini Chainsaw. Both cordless, both that battery operated, rechargeable uh, mini chainsaws. Similar in design, but also different in design. As you can see, one of the biggest differences is the size. The bar on the Zeke saw is six inches and the bar on the Saker mini chainsaw is four inches. Both of them have a plastic guard on the top to prevent not only another limb from falling on it, but also injury to the user. The trigger guards on both these are different, as you can see. Uh, is one better than the other? This one kind of covers your whole hand. This one only covers your finger. Both of them have a rubber grip handle. Both of them are biased to the right side as far as um, the motor is on the same side. So if you wanted to get really close, you'd have to cut something from the right side or kind of turn around. If you cut something from the left side, this motor will be in your way on both of these models. Obviously, they're different colors, as you could see. There's kind of a reason for that. If you drop this, if you're using this, say you're cutting some trails down and you lop a bunch of stuff off and then you're switching back and forth between tools and all of a sudden, because now you're 100, 200 feet away, you don't know where you left your saw. The fact that this is orange is one of those things that helps you find the saw. Now this one's blue. Sure, there's not really too many things in nature that are blue, but this one doesn't stand out like this one. Without putting them on a scale, because I'm not one of those Google warriors that can just tell you from the stats on what something weighs, these things weigh the same. Both of them are very light. Both of them are able to be, uh, you know, raised up and moved around with little fatigue. One of the other positives to the Zeke saw over the Saker saw is to adjust the bar or create more tension. Maybe you have to tighten it up. You need the wrench that's provided with the saw. The Zeke saw doesn't. There's a little butterfly finger groove thing here. You just tighten it. Un unloosen it, loosen it up, tighten it up with your fingers. That is another cool feature of this saw. So now we're gonna get to going. Um, if I had to guess, I would say they're similar in speed. Um, I'm not gonna give it one way or the other. I would say they're very similar in speed, how fast the chain moves around on each of these saws. The style of the saw, this saw bar is more straight and linear. This bar has got a fat section in the middle, so it's a different design. I'll be interested to see if that makes a difference or not. So right now I'm gonna do some comparison cutting and. I'm going to see if, uh, if there is a big, huge differences between these two saws. Saker, mini chainsaw. This has a four inch bar. This piece of wood's approximately three inches. I'm not gonna lie, that struggled a little bit. There was a one time where it bound up. Um, some of that could have been me. You wanna apply, uh, obviously, some pressure, just not a lot of pressure. This isn't a gas-powered, high-torque, lot of uh, amazing speed chainsaw, so you can't go too hard or else it'll stop. Um, but that, it struggled a little bit. Now the Zeke saw. significantly better. The Zeke saw is a lot sharper saw. Um, also with the bigger bar, I think this design and length makes it easier. But now I'm gonna move to a bigger piece of wood. The tree that I'm gonna cut now is five inches across. So, 
bigger than the capabilities of this saw, so you're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get creative, but within the capabilities of this saw. All right, since I started with the Saker Mini Chainsaw in the last piece of wood, I'm gonna start with the Zeke saw for this piece of wood. That way we can uh, make a honest uh, third party unbiased opinion about which of these saws is better. So I'm gonna start with the Zeke saw. I'm also gonna be using a different hand. One, because it's going to be easier to film it if I'm facing towards you. And two, I want to see how well this thing can be used, how easy it is to be wielded by a left-hander. Because if you didn't know, I'm actually left-handed. Huge chunks of wood. Uh, if you didn't know the size of the, the pieces of wood that you're cutting, the size of the chunks, uh, will kind of loosely tell you how sharp the saw is. So the bigger the chunks, the sharper the saw. Amazing cut, and with the six inch design on it, it's actually bigger, if you can see that there, than the five inch piece of wood that I have here. So now I'm gonna use the Saker Mini Chainsaw, that having a four inch bar, We'll see how it can uh, handle this five inch piece of wood. I'm not gonna lie, this thing struggled. Did it make it through it? Yes. So you can, and I proved that in the Saker demonstration video, you can cut a piece of wood that's actually bigger than the blade itself. You do have to get creative though. You kinda gotta go around the material, but it did cut it. And as you can see, the bar, the chain length is not as long, it's not as wide as this piece of wood. So. Another thing I'd like to bring up. Being as uh, uh, I just use these both with the left hand. The Saker Mini Chainsaw has a little button here. It's a safety button. So that you couldn't, you know, accidentally squeeze this trigger, unless you were intending to, accidentally squeeze this trigger and run the saw and possibly get hurt. As long as you depress it, the trigger will activate the saw but it won't until you depress that switch. The Saker Mini Chainsaw has a similar design. There is a button here that won't allow the trigger to be depressed while it's in the locked position. Here's the difference. Because with this design, you have to hold it down to operate it. Controlling this with your left hand and operating this with your left hand it's almost impossible. It's very, very hard to do. Um, it's not natural. It's not a, a grip that's designed to be used with your left hand. This one, by design, clicks over. And once it clicks over, it stays there. You don't have to hold it. So it's either locked or unlocked. And you could operate this thing with your off hand, with your, with your left hand, no problem. 
That to me is a huge design flaw with the Sacred Mini Chainsaw. So, I'm gonna leave this up to you. I won't tell you which one I prefer, but I'm gonna leave this up to you and I want you to tell me in the comment section below which one you like. I'm gonna be impartial here because both of these chainsaws were sent to me for testing and review. So uh, whether I get the product sent to me or I buy them myself does not matter. I'm impartial and I'm gonna test these products. I'm also gonna tell you what I like and don't like about them, whether or not they send it to me or not. But both of these companies are on the same playing field as far as sending me this product. I got both of these saws for free. They are around the same price too. You do get a better value with the Zeke saw. There are some nice features to the Saker Mini Chainsaw, but I would say the Zeke saw has nicer features. I would say the motor on the Zeke saw is also stronger. The, Ze the Saker Mini Chainsaw seems underpowered when compared to this. Is this a capable saw? Yes. Can you do a lot of projects, get a lot of work done, fulfill your needs? Let's just say you're pruning trees and you have a whole bunch of fruit trees or apple trees or something like that. This is gonna be more than fine. Can the Zeke saw do more? Yes. Is it more capable? Yes. Is it a better design? Yes. Is it an all around better saw? In my opinion, yes it is. But I still wanna hear from you guys. Links will be in the description for both of these saws. And I want to thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for all my sponsors. Like I said, both the links to these saws will be in the description below where you can get and purchase these saws. Thank you for all your support. This is Josh from the 570, and we'll see you next time.